test materials. Test materials includes examiner's manual, examiner record forms, and computerized scoring of stuttering severity. Examiner's manual. The SSI-4 examiner's manual provides administration guidelines, an explanation of statistical properties of the instrument, and a description of each type of score used. The examiner's manual also includes the clinical use of self-reports. This self-report can be filled out prior, during, and or after treatment. The examiner's manual also includes the stimulus materials, picture plates, and reading plates. These are used to encourage guided conversation. Examiner record forms. This provides a formalized method for measuring and interpreting the individual's frequency, duration, and physical concomitance and severity of stutter to speech. Computerized scoring of stuttering severity. The CD-ROM contains a printed insert describing how to use the software to collect the data necessary to measure an individual's stuttering pattern. The use is optional. Test administration. The SSI-4 should be administered in a well-lit, quiet room with a table and chairs set up. A device should be set up to record speech samples. It can be either video or audio recording. The SSI-4 can be administered to children or to adults. Administration of tests is broken up into two groups, non-readers and readers. Non-readers include individuals who are below a third grade reading level. Readers include those exceeding the third grade reading level. Both non-readers and readers are scored based upon the following, frequency and duration of stuttering, physical concomitance, and naturalness of speech. The client Alyssa has a fourth grade reading level, so she is tested as a reader during the SSI-4. Prior to the evaluation beginning, Alyssa was asked to fill out the clinical use of self-reports. The answers filled out by Alyssa will give the clinician a better idea of the client's perception of stuttering. It's going to give me an idea of what types of settings you stutter in and how often you do. As you can see, it's a couple pages long, so take your time with it, but if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, here's the pen. Okay, thank you. Thank you for filling out that form, Alyssa. That's going to be really helpful information. I'm going to be recording us today, so don't mind this machine. The first part of the test is going to be showing you some picture plates. I want you to tell me anything that you see or think of when we look at the picture. Okay? Speaking task. This requires the person to converse with the examiner about an age-appropriate or familiar topic. Younger clients can use the picture plates, and older individuals can talk about different topics such as work or school. Now, do you see anything strange going on in this picture? Mm, yeah. The g g guy is falling off the ship. Uh-oh, that's not good. What do you think this ship is used for? Mm, to carry boxes? Yeah, where are they loading the boxes? On the t top of the ship. Yes, they are. Do you notice anything strange going on in this rope? Mm. Yeah, there's a m m mouse climbing up to the top of the ship. <laughs> yes, he shouldn't be there. Let's try to find one more thing that's going wrong in this picture. Mm. There, the guy is falling off the, or coming off a parachute onto the top of the ship. Yeah, that's a little strange. Thank you. You're welcome. Reading task. Each grade level has a corresponding plate. Alyssa has a fourth grade reading oh, level, so plate five was plate used. Plate. I just want you to read aloud as best you can. Okay? Mm -hmm. When the fisherman awoke in the morning, his wife be the began yelling at him. All you d do all d d day is fish, she said, and we never get to go anywhere. The p p 
poor fisherman left the house and went to his boat. He went far out to sea. He sat in the b boat thinking about how unhappy his wife was. Soon he felt a heavy tug on his fishing line. He had caught a huge fish. After he got the fish into the boat, he sat thinking again. Suddenly he heard a strange voice. Please put me back into the water, the fish sa said the fish. The fisherman said, what is that? I must have caught a magic fish. The fisherman thought about all the wishes he would get. Wow, that's an interesting story, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, thank you for coming in today, Alyssa. I'm going to listen to the tape that we recorded, take some data, speak with your mom, and then we can go from there, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Clinician will listen to audio tape to count stuttering events and syllables produced to calculate the percentage stuttered syllables. After listening to the recording, the examiner can meet with a client's parent or caregiver to discuss results and stuttering. Right. Hi, Ms. Fernandez. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Before the test, I had your daughter, Alyssa, fill out this form, which was just a questionnaire of her own perception on when she stutters. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about her everyday life and how you notice her stutter? Well, every day if she's at home and it's just the family, it's really not so bad. She's not so aware of her stuttering, she doesn't really think about speaking. Mm -hmm. The problem really is at school. Okay. So my teacher is the one that really, the last couple of years have said that she needs to go for testing and for therapy okay. regarding her stuttering. Right. One of the questions was to rate her fluency today. She rated it very, very low. Do you okay. think she was nervous for this assessment? Oh, for sure. She didn't want to come. She didn't want to sit here and speak in front of someone new. Okay. She's very embarrassed about her stuttering. So that's with school as well. She doesn't like to answer questions or raise her hand if she has a question either. Okay, so it's really inhibiting her participation in class. 100%. Okay. Score sheet setup. The first page of the score sheet has identifying information about the client. The first page also contains tables that determine the scores for frequency, duration, and physical concomitants. Once the total score is determined, a percentile rank can be found on page 2. The severity equivalent is also found on this page. Page 4 corresponds to readers. Calculations on either page 3 or 4 is necessary to determine percentage of stuttered syllables. Scoring the test. This test can be scored manually or the computerized scoring of stuttering severity can be used. To score the frequency, the examiner would divide the number of stuttering events by the number of syllables. The resulting number then has to be multiplied by 100. This provides the percentage of stuttered syllables. Once the percentage of stuttered syllables is determined, the numbers need to be averaged. To score duration, the examiner may use the software or measure duration manually with a stopwatch. The three longest durations of stuttering events are added together, then divided by three to obtain an average duration. In order to score physical concomitants, the examiner needs to make observations live or watching videotape. Speech naturalness is rated by examiner's judgment while scoring the test.